Hi everyone, welcome to QNAP Live Broadcast. I'm Sam, your host for today's topic. And today we're going to talk about the uh, one of the app that you might seldom hear about that or you have never seen about it. But that is a very important app for our enterprise users, which is the Nakivo. Well, Nakivo is an app that, uh, that can do the, like backup and recover for the VMware. So uh, we will talk about this and we'll explain what what can Nakibo do? And we will do a short demo to tell you uh, how can you set the Nakibo and uh, what is the what is the UI looks like. And uh, today we have our uh, PM Norman Hello. and we have Rob from the Taiwan uh, uh, Disty of Nakibo, right? Yes. Uh, yes. Rob here. And uh, okay, uh, please help us to change the name card for Norman and Rob because Rob. yeah. So let's get into the slide first. And the title for today is the QNAP and Nakibo the con to construct a high efficient VM disaster recovery solution. So uh, for now, more and more enterprises are using VM because VM can help them to lower their cost and hire the efficient while their team work. Yes. So uh, before we show you the demo and uh, the functions of the Nakibo, Norman will tell you the, the overall of Nakibo. Okay, and about Nakibo, it's established in the USA since uh, 2012. Mm -hmm. It's a very new company, and it also provides a data protection solution, especially for the VMware, Hyper-V, and also the AWS EC2. So it's uh, for protection for the virtual machine. Yes. Okay. And uh, about the customer, over the 10,000 customers around the world, and uh, including the EMEA, Americas, and also uh, Asia. So we can say the Nakibo is very suitable for the business use because they have the customer enterprise level and they use it to protect more than 7,000 VN and over 200 sites. Mm -hmm. And uh, since the uh, company is established, it has the rapid growth and uh, both the number of customer and the revenue grown by 100% by each year. Mm -hmm. And it also distributed in uh, 124 countries and sold by more than 2,000 dealers. And uh, with the Nakiba solution, we have some very highlight features, just like the time saving, because it's very easy to use and the, the whole user interface for your measurement, your backup job, it's very uh, suitable, suitable for any kind of IT. You don't need very professional knowledge to use this to protect your virtual machines. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's a cost conscious because the price and the license way can be very suitable for any scale of the enterprise. And with the uh, some uh, technology that can help you to reduce the backup size, including the compression, decryption. So uh, with this kind of te technology, it can let you to store, uh, to save many storage space. Okay. And uh, based on the backup, and after the backup, you need to verify it, the backup validation. Mm -hmm. So with the screenshot verification, and also you can do the remote cloud replication and also the backup copy. Mm -hmm. So it provides the multiple layers of the protection for your data. And uh, about the backup efficiency, it has um, some technique that can optimize the data transferring speed and also provide a land free backup framework that you to back uh, to create your backdrop very efficient. Mm -hmm. And uh, while the disaster happened, you uh, you uh, need to the way to instant to recover your service. So with the Nakivo, you can instantly recover the VN and the file, also the application object. So uh, as you can see, this picture shows the pra practical disaster recovery solutions. So you can see from the local side, we will build up the high availability through the replication function provided by the Nakivo. And also we could do the local backup to backup all the virtual machine mm -hmm. to our QNAP NAS and also can do it 
uh, filter to the remote and the cloud. Okay, so uh, that is um, most of the thing that uh, Nakiva can do. And why is that Nakiva and QNAP can be a uh, best combination for the VM backup solution? Because that first, uh, Norman just mentioned, it's very easy to install. You just turn on our uh, app center and yes. find the Nakiva. You will find two of the apps. The left hand side is the Nakiva backup and replication, which I can say that is for the cent uh, center, the, the, the server. For a use. server to use. Yeah, for yes. a server to use. And while you install the, the first application, it will also help you to download the second one, the Nakibo transporter, yes. because uh, you need to use the, the Nakibo to send a command to all the other, uh, like NAS or all the uh, other servers. Nakibo is the agent list framework. Uh, yeah. and, but with the Nakibo transporter, mm -hmm. it can enhance the efficiency while doing the backup job. Yes. And then why the, here's the second reason why Kinect NAS is good for it because we have uh, we have three of the protection. Uh, let's start from the top one, the hybrid backup sync. You can back up all the data file that you back up from the Nakibo into your NAS or to the other NAS, or you can use the hybrid backup sync function to upload everything onto a public cloud. Yes. So you will have more than double, even triple, triple. of the protection. And then we can do a snapshot. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, if your file will be like damaged or something, even Nakiva has their own function, kind of like snapshot, but we can provide you another snapshot above the snapshot. So it's a double snapshots. And then we provide you different kinds of RAID from RAID 0 to RAID 60, depending on the quantity of your hard disk. Then since you will use the backup function and you will use the replication or the like uh, on time syncing function, you will need a huge bandwidth to transfer your data file because we cannot predict how big your data file will be, but time will be the most valuable thing for you to do the backup or to do the, uh, to do the recovery. So we provide you, uh, we provide you NAS specs with Thunderbolt 3 building, or we have a wide range of the NAS from two bay to 24 bays. We can, uh, help you to support the 10G uh, transmission speed for RJ45 or for SFP Plus. So that is the best way for you to do everything in a blink of time. And if you have used our NAS already, but it doesn't support uh, uh, the, the SSD or the uh, 10G port, you can use our uh, expansion card. And here are two examples. The first one is you can use our QM2 card with PCIe slot that you can install your own M.2 SSD on that to do a fast read and write efficient, no matter uh, it's from your VM or for your NAS purpose. And uh, when you are doing the backup, you can have a very high efficient doing it. And if you are do using our SSD, you can also use our QTA function to enhance the read and write speed. Of course, M.2 can do that. And here is the uh, simple introduction of the Q-tier. Well, we all know that for users that use SSD, they can use SSD as cache to enhance the speed, but you will lose, uh, you will lose the storage capacity for your SSD. But with Q-tier function, uh, you can not only use the SSD as cache, you can also use the storage capacity of your SSD. So that is, a, uh, that is another advantage of our exclusive function Q tier. Then here is the 10G switch that the performance that the 10G switch can bring you. You can see the download speed and the upload speed for the 10G file uh, is very fast. So I think that uh, you can see from the, uh, from the chart. Yes. Uh, okay, for both of the file remain, uh, uh, the size remain from 1 to 0.5 gigabyte and 1.57 gigabyte, the remain time will be all like one second. So the speed is really high. That is what we can bring you. So next we will see uh, some of the UI and the special features from the Nakibo. Yes. So uh, user came from the, can see from this picture and the Nakibo has the web-based measurement interface. So that you can measure all your backup job and can see all the details how they execution and the historical status of the job mm -hmm. so easily from this uh, user interface. Mm -hmm. And the, you can see from second picture on the slide, you can see uh, we can also create the job step by step. It's very intuitively. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, okay. 
And uh, it also provides an easy way for you to manage your job via this the calendar view. So you can see all the jobs show on the calendar view. So you can see the uh, attrition period of time and also the scheduling of the job. So also you can uh, see the future job. Mm -hmm. They will have the predict value of the attrition time mm -hmm. based on the past job. Oh, I see. Yes. So you can find out the, which time slot is open and then assign the new job inside the time slot. So when you are having a lot of VM running on your server, that the calendar view will be a good way for you to yeah, manage very all, your, yes. all your job, right? Yes. And also we can, uh, the key will provide multiple schedules for, can be used on one job. Mm -hmm. And you can choose a weekly, mm -hmm. daily, even monthly backup for your job. So we can we can arrange the schedule by, yes. our, by our own demand. Yes. Sure. And uh, also for integration to your exist system, mm -hmm. you might need some interface for integrate the Nakivo backup into your system. Mm -hmm. So they provide very practical tools such like the uh, product command line interface (COI) and also the pre and the post script. The pre and post script is used for before you running your backup job, mm -hmm. and after the job is finished, you can run the post script to do some actions to handle the backups. Mm -hmm. And also for the modern software ar architecture, they also support the HTTP API. Okay. Yes. And here's another function from Nakiba, the automate data re uh, reduction techniques, because we all, we know that when you are doing the backup. Uh, there might be some uh, files that is not necessary to be picked up with uh, to your new like storage capacity. Yes. But if you only have one VM to pick up, that will be like fine. But if you have like ten of the VMs to need to be picked up, yes. And since when we are backing up one VM or when we are doing one backup job, there will be double of your swap file, uh, mm -hmm. the memory consumption. Yes. Yeah. So for example, if you are having a four gigabyte of your swap file and you want to back up for 10 VM and you want to back up for one month and uh, some of the storage capacity will be 1.2 terabyte which is a very huge and unnecessary consumption also it will uh, drag your backup time yes. so that is not what we want to see so uh, uh, Nakiba have this function to skip the swap file to make your backup job more faster and it will lower the consumption of your storage capacity. And then they also provide another function called deduplication and the compression for the deficient disk space optimization. Uh, when we are doing tons of the backup job and somehow sometimes we will back up the file like like over and over again. Yeah. So when we have this condition, are we going to back up all this thing into another new storage capacity and we just keep it one by two by three and just like more and more of the same data file? No, that is not what we want to see. Yes. So they have the, 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 the sorry, the, 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 it's the a really hard word. <laughs> the duplication. The duplication. Yes. <laughs> they can, you know, like seize down your file and make it more accurate and give you the real file that you actually need. And then through the deduplication file, and then we go to this next uh, process, which is the compression. They will also compress your data file into a smaller size so that you can uh, you can make sure that for the data file that's stored in your new hard disk, they will be the smallest and, and only one. And only one. Yes. And when you want to recover that backup file, okay, for example, you get your backup a two gigabyte of the, the, the size of the file mm -hmm. into a new uh, backup repository. Maybe that will be only one gigabyte, uh, one gigabyte only. But when you recover the one gigabyte into your new VM, it will come back to an original two gigabyte of the file data. Yes. Yeah. That is the uh, technique of the oh. keyboard. Yeah. And here is a complete data protection solution. So yes. I think it's from Norman, right? Yes. Okay, so for the comprehensive VM protection, uh, Nakiva provides the image-based backup for the VM Hyper-V mm -hmm. and also the AWS because file label only can uh, help you to 
protect your file, but we Nakivo provide this solution is help you to protect whole system. Mm -hmm. So it can keep the whole system state in this image. So you can recover the any time point mm -hmm. to the normal state. It's, it's somehow like our snapshot. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. like the snapshot. Mm -hmm. And about the forever incremental backup, and it utilizes the VMware change block checking, like the CBT technique, it help you to do the incremental backup by the block level. Yes. And the, also the Hyper-V RCT. Yes. It's also the same effect of the te technology. Mm -hmm. And about the application aware backup, it uh, because your system is running, mm -hmm. you're doing the backup, and the backup might after you recover the backup, it might in the broken state. Mm -hmm. With the application aware backup, it can make sure all the application like Exchange, SQL, AD, or the Oracle some applications can be run, uh, run successfully after your recovery. Mm -hmm. It can make sure all the running state only stay the the data is stored in the memory. Mm -hmm. It can make sure it all flush into your desk. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, about the backup re uh, retention policy, it can uh, let you to keep the one thousand uh, recover recovery point and the follow the grandfather follow response policy to keep your data. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and uh, about the automatic screenshot verification, it's very useful uh, tools. It can help you to make sure or confirm how how is uh, your backup is not uh, successful or not. Mm -hmm. So while you are doing the VM backup, after it finished, it will send you a report, send you an email mm -hmm. that will attach the screenshot yes. of the recovery uh, of your backup. Virtual, uh, virtual machine. Mm -hmm. Okay, see. And uh, also, you can do in the backup uh, via the copy. And uh, while you do, after you're doing the backup, you can filter more to backup your data to the offsite and also the cloud. Like it was support Azure and also the AWS cloud. Mm -hmm. And okay. So many people may wonder to know how how the data protection during the transmission. Mm -hmm. So Nakibo provide the AES to a uh, two uh, five six encryption technology, and also can make sure your data is encrypted before it transmit to the internet. Okay. And also you can uh, apply the encryption at the rest. So you can make sure your data store in the repository is safe and sound. Sure. Yes. Okay. So next part we will talk about how Nakibo can enhance your backup performance. Yes. So as you can see, we have some technology of uh, lamp free backup, mm -hmm. such like a hard add. It can directly like the transporter we have mentioned about. It can directly mount the VN storage. So it can uh, start to uh, read the data directly from the uh, VM storage mm -hmm. without to occupy the network bandwidth. Oh, okay. And also, it's supposed to uh, read, uh, retrieve the data from the SAN via the uh, fiber channel or the iSCSI, and it won't take any uh, loading on your host. Okay. And uh, about the network acceleration, it at uh, least is focused on how to operate your data, such, such like we will optimize the data by the decryption and also the compression and can uh, with the great uh, data reduction. Mm -hmm. So after your data is reduction, you can make sure this backdrop will run much faster. Yes. 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 So the next is the also is the very important part when when the part comes to us, which we don't want to have this day the most, uh, okay, if you really have the disaster, how can Nakibo help you to uh, recover all your data file in just, you know, like in a short of time? Yes. Uh, so for the instant VN recovery, uh, recover, we can recover the VN. Mm -hmm. We back up to any 
from the any recovery point mm -hmm. we have mentioned it's about the 1000 mm -hmm. yes and and to any new uh new 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 vm mm -hmm. new hypervisor okay okay so uh it can instantly boot up your vm from the compressed and deep deprecation state mm -hmm. no need to do the recovery first oh, okay. before you mount it on your hypervisor mm -hmm. yes so and also recover your vm back to the production site after your production site is uh well recovered and it uh can let you the business operation back to normal as soon as possible sure and the about the instant file and object recovery, the uh, cable support to the granularity of the to the object label or the file label. You don't need to recover whole the uh, whole the virtual machine and choose the file you want to recover. You can just search the file or also the mail, mm -hmm. SQL object and AD uh, group AD member, and just choose that one to recover. Okay, we will also do some demo like this, right? Yes, mm -hmm. okay. And uh, about the VM fell over and they fell, uh, fell back, uh, you could use the replication function provided by the Nativo mm -hmm. to, uh, create, um, to create and maintain an identical copies of source VMs on the target server. Mm -hmm. So while your source host is down, it's shut down because of disaster happened. Mm -hmm. you, you don't need to worry about that. You just pull on the target host and the service will back to normal. Yes. Okay. So uh, that is what the other function that Nakivo can provide you. And then we are going to talk about uh, how QNAP and Nakivo, when they combine together, how can this combination can maximize uh, your, your, your cost and how can they make you to spend the less of the money, but got the biggest efficient. Yes. So, and, uh -huh. okay. Sorry. So with the QNAP solution, mm -hmm. Nakivo is available in the QNAP app center. So that the user can directly install the Nakivo by downloading from the app center. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's very easy. And uh, with the, because the Nakivo management server is running on our NAS, so it can offload the VM system loading. Mm -hmm. Don't need to waste the CPU consumption or the memory or the network on the VM. It can run in its own service. Okay. And the also can, because the QNAP have the very flexible expansion features like the storage space can be expansion by uh, VJ Bart mm -hmm. and anything like that. Okay. And here is uh, how the Nakivo, how, how Nakivo charge their customer. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, after we make, uh, after we discuss with uh, Nakivo people, which is like their mm, PM or sales. The, the manager. Yeah, the manager. Yes. Uh, we know that the information about the policy of the charges by the CPU. Socket. CPU socket. socket. Yeah, yeah. Yes. of your server. Obviously. So if this server has two sockets, they will charge by two. By two, yes. Yeah, but if you, if, but you can run as many as VM on this. No server. matter you how many time you backup, how many data you backup, or mm -hmm. you do the filter backup to an other mm -hmm. offline cloud. No, this won't be charged. You yes. only charge the the CPU socket number on your source server. Yes, and then here is several of the different. Uh, version of the Nakibo. As we can see here, we have four versions and we can see each of the versions can support like we have functions. two category like the pro and the enterprise. Mm -hmm. So the the pro the essential and the without essential the, the difference is about the, the license number mm -hmm. of the yeah. organizations. So if your 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 scale is not so big you will choose like the enterprise, Maybe the enterprise essential. In, essential yes, essential. you have the license for two to six mm -hmm. or two to uh two to six CPU socket, okay. and yeah. and also with the we have mentioned about the Canada dashboard, mm -hmm. AD integration, and also the the automatic automatic uh tools like the HTT, HTTP APIs mm -hmm. and the multiple. Tendency let you to share your 
license uh -huh. to different department in okay. uh, in same in the same company, mm -hmm. and this official will embed it in the enterprise packet. I see, and like self service is like we can oh, manage okay. our own because uh, they support the multi tenancy mm -hmm. function. So it means you can distribute the management to the department. So with the self uh, self service, they mm -hmm. can do the same uh, the the maintenance or the create the backup job by themselves. Okay. okay, and for branding is that. Uh, does oh. that mean we can change our logo on yeah that? change your logo okay that's <laughs> cute yeah so we also have the license delegation function which is also on the enterprise essential version yes. and the enterprise version so by this chart if you have found something uh, you need and you want uh, by your demand you can you can connect to the nakivo uh, reseller in taiwan or in your country and you will get to know more but you can always download the uh, Archivo on our app center for free, but for the rest of the license for child version, yeah, for child version, you need to connect our reseller in, yes. in each of the countries. And next, we will show you the live demo of the Archivo. So we will let you know how the UI looks like, and uh, for the five tags for you to set up everything, and then maybe for the for the the the, the, the file level backup. Yes, and we will also do the demo for you. So let's get to the computer. Okay. So as you can see, here's the our QNAM NAS. Mm -hmm. We can we can download the Nakivo from the App Center. Mm -hmm. Here, we need to change the subtitle into English. So okay, I'm sure. Okay, so we search. The Nakivo. Okay, we can find the two QPKG on our app center. And just create the install, and the Nakivo package will just install on your NAS. Mm -hmm. And before we waiting it for finish, we can switch to other NAS. Okay. That we have pre-installed the Nakivo, okay. and we can see the user interface. After we install, they will show up on our mm -hmm. NAS and you can choose it to create your own backup job. Okay. So this is the URL of Nakibo. Yes, mm -hmm. this is the homepage of the Nakibo. You can see all the backup job here. The information is listed here. This page looks like the report of the backup job. The measurement oh. interface. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So while I choose the backup job here, mm -hmm. you can see all the historical mm -hmm. data here, mm -hmm. the speed, what uh, each uh, backup job mm -hmm. execution, and also the transfer data mm -hmm. with each uh, backup date, right? By date. Yeah. Okay. We we have done the backup in these two days, so you can see there have the three types of backup job running record here, mm -hmm. and the data is uh is a data data to backup. Okay. The first time is always the full. the mod, the full backup is the yeah. first time, okay. and the other list two uh, is the incremental backup, mm -hmm. so it will be reduce the data amount. Mm -hmm. Okay. And because we run it in the tangent environment, so you can see the the speed of the data trans click here. Yeah. Uh -huh. It will show the whole record. Okay. Of the anytime you can see when it start, when it end, mm -hmm. and uh, the speed the, while the speed doing the backup. Yes. It's like around the most fifty to two hundred megabytes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. That 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 is a uh, that is a backup under the three point five inch hard disk. Uh, two point five SSD. It's already an SSD. Yes, okay, already sure. SSD. Because uh, the speed con uh speed calculation mm -hmm. way is need to handle like the snapshot. Uh -huh. Take it into account. Oh, uh, I see. So it's now re really transferring speed. Okay. Okay, so uh. User, the uh, we can see 
Hoyt Coin. Still down 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 again. Okay. User firstly uh, jump into the Nakivo. Mm -hmm. We'll see the UI here. Mm -hmm. Here. Nakivo will ask you mm -hmm. to create the inventory. Mm -hmm. Inventory means the, the source data you want to back up. Normally, VN. yes, the VM. Mm -hmm. So like I uh, click the button and new, you can see I can choose the source from the VMware vCenter mm -hmm. or the ES, EXI host, mm -hmm. and also the AWS Microsoft Hyper-V mm -hmm. can be our uh, backup source. Mm -hmm. So after you create, uh, like, like we have entered the vCenter IP mm -hmm. and yeah. we can see all the virtual machine mm -hmm. running on this hypervisor. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can choose any of one or all to do the backup job. Or yeah. to recover. Yes. Okay. So also for the, after we set, set up the inventory, we need to choose the repository. Yes. It, and it's a location where you store your backup data. Mm -hmm. So after you install the Nakivo on your NAS, it will default to help you to set up a, a repository for, for your Nakivo on QNAP NAS. Mm -hmm. And this is a different one. Mm -hmm. So you can see all the, the, uh, the storage information here is that have you uh, enabled the compression, decryption, encryption feature on this storage space? Mm -hmm. Okay, so after these two items you have finished to config, you can change back to the home here. And here, the way mm -hmm. you could create the backup job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And then I will demo you how to create a backup job. Mm -hmm. Okay, here is the have the five step wizard for you to to create your backup job. The first step is to choose the VN you want to back up. Mm -hmm. So here, don't waste the time. I don't back up hold the vCenter. I just choose only one here for the demo. Mm -hmm. The VN for demo. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I click next. And the, in the destination, I will choose the Nakivo de demo mm -hmm. I have created for, for this demo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the Nakivo demo is on our NAS. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's okay. And uh, after you choose the source, you choose the destination, the thing you need to set up is the schedule. Mm -hmm. We have mentioned uh, Nakibo can apply multiple schedule into one job. So you can see the daily, mm -hmm. after you create, you can add days. Okay, or... Yeah, yes. Okay. Okay. It's very easy. And also you can add another schedule mm -hmm. and another. Okay. Mm -hmm. So like that. So I do not need the schedules from the man. Mm -hmm. Okay, and here the the step four, you will set up your retention policy. Mm -hmm. uh, as I said, uh, they can support to set like the grandfather, father, son. Mm -hmm. So you will keep the days weekly, monthly, yearly. So if you want to keep your data back to the three years ago, you only need to Okay. Choose this one and choose three. Oh. You don't need to back up for a uh, 365 Pro 3, no, no need. Mm -hmm. And uh, we click next. And the other okay. will have some option for you to set in, like the encryption, net network acceleration you want to enable or not, it, it will do the conversion to your data mm -hmm. during the transmission. Mm -hmm. And uh, the screenshot verification is yes. really important yes. because you may want to know how is how is your backup yes. after it's finished. Mm -hmm. So we choose the uh, yeah. okay. 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 And you you need to choose what target it means which yes uh yes I you want to play. Uh, okay. 
Yeah. So it's a full uh, boost. You boost the UVM yes. location. Uh -huh. Okay. So uh, the later demo we will have a detail detail mm -hmm. show to show how the screenshot verification mm -hmm. work. Yes. Okay. Now we, ju uh, we just we just click Oops. disable. Finish. Okay. It it's a simple demo of you how you to create your beta job with the Nakibo. Okay, thank you, Norman. So let's go back to the uh, slides. And after we see the first part of the demo, then we will see uh, what kind of enterprise can use the Nakibo without QNAP NAS. Yes. So basically, you can, no matter you are a small uh, SMB or you are a big enterprise, we can provide you different scale of your internet structure. Uh, okay, we see the first picture on the left hand side. Even if you are just have one server and running your own VMware on that, you can back up. Uh, you can take QNAP NAS as your as your backup repository. Yes. Yeah. So one on one, that can be okay. Yes. So if you have a bigger of your uh, you scale, need more virtual machine to run your service. Yes, you can also use this function. Like we can use LAN three, and we can yeah. even use uh, directly back up your shared storage. Yes. yes, so that can also be uh, another way. And next, if you are running a big enterprise, you need like a uh, failover, uh, failover structure. You yes. have two of your uh, QNAP shared storage, one as the main and the other one as the failover system. Yes. So you can also run all uh, both of the two VMware with our, uh, with our shared storage. So when you are running two of your VMware, the first one will also have the uh, backup file of the second uh, two of this sorry should be the first one share storage will have both of the data file from this two VMware and the second one will also have this two so it's like uh, they can cope with each other and uh, when each of the share storage down um, the other will have both of the VMware the function yes and uh, the job yes also let's look to the right side you can also do the replication into another place that is not in your local uh sorry the local, uh, local site local site maybe you're a central or maybe that is your uh, headquarter yeah. yeah so you can also uh, back up to a remote site no matter it's through the uh from vmware to vmware or through our QNAP nas yes okay so you can choose different of the solutions and different ways based on your demand okay so Next, we will uh, show you how to recover the files, right? Yes. Okay, so let's go back and to our computer. So in this demo, we will have the, we want to let the user to know the whole picture of the disaster recovery. Mm -hmm. So we will do uh, several things, such like uh, we will do the VN uh, backup mm -hmm. and also do the VN replication okay. for your failover. Mm -hmm. And also we will can see how is the, if the system is shut down, how the backup service can be run. Okay. Okay. So the first step, uh, we will, Robert will help us to show the way we do the VM backup. Excuse me. Uh, we can I make a, a file. Okay. okay. So Rob here will make make a new file on our VN because mm -hmm. we have do the full backup of the first time. Yeah. And uh, now, like the some employee, he create a new file. It's very important, mm -hmm. and we will do the backup for him. Okay. 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 So yeah. after we create the file, mm -hmm. we then do the VN backup again. Yeah. So it's the exist job we have mm -hmm. run for several times or three times and then we run it again. So as we detection, we think it do only do the incremental mm -hmm. backup. So not so many uh, data will be transferred to the re repository. Mm -hmm. So it will be fast. Yeah. Yes. So so while it's doing the backup, can we see some of the other UI from the Nakibo system? Oh. So uh, you you just can see the 
process status uh, oh. here. Mm -hmm. So even the speed is not started to transfer the data, but you can see it now in the stage of the taking snapshot. Mm -hmm. And after the snapshot is okay, mm, yeah. it will start to do the. Oh, it's complete already. It's complete. Uh, uh, complete to take snapshot, okay. and then it Nakigo is prepared to transfer some different data. Okay. So what what are the the, the icons okay. like the calendar? So we can see the users about our calendar view. Mm -hmm. okay. So so in this view, we can choose the. Um, granular, granary, like the day. Uh -huh. So you can you can see the detail by the hours the too. And by hour, right? Yeah, yes. What is the blue bar means? Blue bar means means at night time you have the job uh, execution. So okay. you can maybe see the future if you have the job, you have the schedule mm -hmm. like weekly, weekly Monday. Uh -huh. You will see every Monday you will have the blue. Oh. Blue okay. bar and the, the blue bar also contain the information of the execution time. Okay, the, the estimated right? estimated yes. Okay. So this is the calendar mode that you just mentioned. Yes, mm -hmm. it's a very good function. Yes, it's very useful for the user to manage all his job. Mm -hmm. You can change the month monthly. Uh, yeah, so you can see what time you have done the mega job. Mm -hmm. Very useful because we have a uh, created for the one time job, mm -hmm. so it will have it won't show any other schedule okay. in mm -hmm. the future. Sure, is the backup finished already? Let's check about status. Okay, yeah, it's yeah. ready. Mm -hmm. So let's go back and check. How can we get so the recover of the the new data file? We just can created? I get uh, can I recover the file I've just created in the VM? Uh, uh sorry what? okay uh we just add a new file in the vm uh, and yes. do the backup to the remote uh, to the and other hypervisor right oh uh, yes so now we want to show the users how we can uh, restore only that file instead of recovery of the whole okay virtual machine oh uh, yes we can use this uh function in the visual files mm. okay and we choose uh it's the versions okay. we have done the backup yeah. and the three minutes ago we yeah. I, I choose this version mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the latest one somehow it's like our snapshot function yes yeah. but mm -hmm. it's really useful for the enterprise because yeah. they don't need to recovery and mount the vm mm -hmm. and uh, just don't just restore mm -hmm. only one file yeah. and it's running on vm running on vm so here uh, is a new document that yes, we just created. Just ready. We can just recover it um, and uh, download it uh, to your file, and the user can get the yeah. file they want or they have just deleted. Okay, yeah. that's good. It's, it's good. And we also want to demo about the uh, uh, v VN replication function. Okay. So also use the same VM we have to create the job on inside it. Yes. We have uh, uh, run this job before, so now we run again. Run it again. Yeah. So uh, this job will replicate an, a VM from hypervisor A to hypervisor B. Mm -hmm. So that will let you to do the failover. Okay. Yes. So now we also need to wait for it to finish. Yes. Can we check on other part. Okay. What 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 is in the wheel? Wheel. It means you have some activity you have this and notice that so uh -huh. you can read the information yeah. from here you can easy to know what job is running or fail mm -hmm. or, or complete the yeah. status of each of the job yeah history yeah so like the past activity we can see all the job is completed and why is we stopped it mm -hmm. so the name and the status and at when we have activated this activity yes mm -hmm. okay and so you you can also to, to stop or start the job okay. by this menu if we want to get uh, like a enterprise version where can we where can we do that okay because uh i have mentioned that you need the buy a license yes yes so you where need to can, can, can tell a reseller or dealer uh -huh. 
Oh, in each sorry. country. So here we have the help to guide you to find uh, how to buy the license. Mm -hmm. So here like the I find the reseller. Yeah. So here you can see you oh. the country where you are, you can choose like we choose the Taiwan. Oh, we have a lot of resellers. Yes, not yeah. only one reseller in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have the we have four. four of the resellers in Taiwan. Yes. Yeah. And we invited you link. You link. You link to, to support us to do to the broadcast show with us today. Yes. So uh people in Taiwan, if you're watching this and you're interested in the Nakivo, you want to get the full version, please go to your link. link. Yeah. Okay. So we can see how it's going of our job. Still running. still running still running yeah we can see the okay we can see um uh vm verify right mm -hmm. yeah yeah okay okay we can show you the vm verification function and uh, after you do the first time for backup mm -hmm. you will have the report uh, you okay. get the report from your mail mm -hmm. so here you can see here you can see the the screenshot mm -hmm. of your backup VM. Mm -hmm. So now you can make sure your backup is running fine. Okay. So where disasters happen, mm -hmm. you don't need to worry about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the, in the overview, okay, the job is done and the speed have the reached. Okay. okay. Mm. You can see the running historic run speed mm -hmm. and also the transfer data is very very less yeah small very small yes yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay so how can i show the users our, re our replication is uh, works successfully okay so you can run in the vm for us yeah we just play mm -hmm. So while your disaster is happened, you just power on the mm -hmm. VN of your backup site wow. and your whole service will back to normal. It's okay. really easy. So many uh, enterprise like to use the virtualization it's for the disaster recovery. Mm -hmm. oh. So it's now restarting the, like the system. You, you just restart in your VM mm -hmm. and it, it will come back very, very soon. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's all, all our demo. Okay. Thanks. So let's go back to the slides. So yes. uh, basically this, uh, what we have shown are the whole thing that we want to bring you today is about the VM virtualization malware, right? Right. Uh, virtual, uh, uh, virtualization, uh, virtual, virtual machine. virtualization machine, virtual machine, yeah, yeah virtual machine, yeah. all the backup and the recover for the virtual machine. So uh, if you're running an enterprise, so whether you are an SMB or a big enterprise, we have the full solution to provide you a full backup and the, and the replication yes. and the, like the duplication and compression to save your cost and enhance your efficient. Yes. So uh, let's go back to light. And thank you again, Norman and Rob. Thank you for all the uh, introduction and the demo of how we can get to know more about the Nakibo. So if you like our video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and we will keep bringing you more and more videos about the software, hardware, and the new things about QNET Plus. So thank you today. We will see you next time on QNET Live Broadcast. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.